morning and you have your hair looks good that day, it can make your whole, you know, your whole personality, your face, everything else look good. Um, so in that sense, it's very important. The whole thing is the whole combination. The makeup, the hair, the It's a whole presence from your head to your toes. You know, I mean, everything works in together. If the hair's not right, it makes it look like something's off. When it all works together, then it can really pull off the whole presence. It's all presence. One of the strongest hair looks for 492 on the runway was the marching Sitbon collection. Sitbon's eclectic historical outpourings were pulled together by eccentric hairdos inspired by elaborate 18th century looks cross-fertilized with the beehives of the 60s. Most, most want you to feel as comfortable as you can, which would be, you know, to have somewhat of your choice, but then there are other ones that want to make a, you know, something new and something different, and it's it's also nice to try those kinds of things too. Well, I think my hair looks a little bit like cotton candy. A lot of people would say it would be 1800s, like this one I just said, but you can't say that because each designer takes offense on that. And so if you say it's undated and has its own style, then that works. And I think it's very good. I like it a lot. It's a lot of work. It'll be a lot of work when I take it home tonight. I'll put conditioner on it and then wash it and then condition it again, but it's worth it for the show. No matter how you comb it, roll it, tease it, fluff it, or spray it, hair makes a statement in a fashion show. Whether it adds contrast to relentless black, or adds a touch of whimsy, or sleek elegance, or Hollywood sophistication. The role of a hairstylist in a fashion show is closely allied to the designer's wishes. We work together like... Chanel's Karl Lagerfeld knows how to match the elusive ingredients of a model's individuality to the sophisticated statement of the house of Chanel by utilizing the natural hairstyles of his models. The hair for the Chanel company, because she is a girl, she... I like very much, she very uh, insp inspired me. The hair story this season seems to opt for the natural. Even that icon of hair artifice, Linda Evangelista, agrees. This season, the supermodel has gone back to her roots, dark brown. This, this color that I have right now is about as natural and as close as I can get to my hair color. I'm really happy because um, my free time gets spent elsewhere, not in the salons anymore. Changed my life. I can go in swimming pools now and don't have to worry about my hair turning green. Um, I can go in the sun and I don't have to worry about it oxidizing and turning funny shades. Somewhere natural is better. <laughs>